Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I installed these taping extensions on my short haircut. I ordered this hair from a vendor called Layla Imports. I received three bundles of 22 inch hair and in each bundle there are 40 tapes. I've already pre-parted the back of my hair. Um, I am not leaving any of my hair out. So if you're someone who does not have their sides shaved, I would suggest watching another taping install video where they can show you how much hair is recommended to leave out around your perimeter. It is also recommended that you start off with straightened hair. I am relaxed. It just allows for a smoother install. So I went ahead and parted the back to begin. Um, when you go to apply these tapes in, make sure that they're not too close to your scalp or it will hurt when you try to lift them up. Um, just get them as close as possible to your scalp, but not like directly on there. I also have like three mirrors sitting around me so I can see what I'm doing. It'll probably be best if you order like one of those three-way mirrors off Amazon just so you can see every angle from your hair. But I just ended up setting up three mirrors at different angles. So after you apply one side of the tape, you want to lift the hair up to apply the other side of the tape. I left as little as possible hair in between my tapes only because I only had a little hair to work with because um, I shaved off my sides. So I just left whatever hair that was sticking to the tape and then I applied the other piece of tape. I'm also not going to skip any rows as I apply these. So they will be kind of like stacked on top of each other in a sense, but not extremely too close where it looks bulky. So after you have them in, you can just use your fingers to press them together and they will stay but I had these Marco Link pliers laying around, so I went ahead and used those as well. So I pretty much just repeat the same steps throughout my whole head. When you go to part your hair, make sure that you part in angles on the side so you'll be able to pull it up in the ponytail. Also, if you're not sure how close you are to your scalp, you can apply the tip of your comb onto your part and place the tape in underneath the comb. And that'll give you an idea where you need to place your tape in. Also, make sure that you part out a nice section of leave out at the top of your head as you would a traditional sew in. I only left out enough to do a middle part, but if you have thicker hair, you can leave out enough to do a side part or a middle part. If your hair is thinner, I would suggest that you only do a middle part. I have been wearing these tape ins for about two weeks now and I haven't had any issues thus far. I've also washed my hair once and these tape ins didn't give me any trouble. If you're going to wash your hair, make sure that when you apply your conditioner, don't apply it to your scalp because the conditioner will break down the adhesive. Please make sure if you're going to try this at home, you take your time because once you apply the tape to your hair, you can't just take it off. You have to apply alcohol to remove it or some oil.
and they're very easy to maintain at night because I just like to wear my hair straightened most of the time. Um, I wrap it up in a circle as I would if this was just my real hair. The finished look actually reminds me of a traditional sew-in or glued-in tracks, but either way, I still love how it turned out. Okay,